All right, guys. This is going to be the first part of the uh, Precision Matthews 25MV CNC conversion overview. Uh, this is a uh, CNC kit from Dave at Arizona Video. On my X and Y, I got NEMA 23s. They're a closed loop hybrid stepper. I did opt for the bigger motor on the top. That's a NEMA 34. The reason I went with the bigger Z, besides a lot of people are doing it, is I do plan on doing some machining with uh, mild steel, not just aluminum. So, let's see. Huh. All for all, kit went together really nice. Uh, one thing that I figured out a little bit late was the ball screws did not come lubed. So, I just uh, went and took a brush and manually lubed them and ran the X and Y and Z back and forth, up and down until everything was lubricated. Right now, currently working on limit switches. So these are my prototypes. How about that? Um, I did have this one over here, but I didn't like the wires, how they were just hanging down because you know it needs to travel. So I kind of went this way more based off where Franco put his and I haven't even ran it yet so I have to see how it's going here is my Z up here really super simple um, I just basically went and took some aluminum mounted my switch and I got a uh, aluminum bung uh, that I use for welding and just ran it down there so it makes contact it stops um, I got to decide how I'm going to permanently mount this. Right now I got two-way tape and a uh, some hot glue. Yeah, not super exciting, but uh, you know, is what it is. Let's, uh, I am running Acorn, Centroid Acorn. So let's go and, this took a minute to figure out. Let's try, where are we at? Right there. I'm gonna reset the home. Let's let's see how it goes. So I got it programmed to hit the Z, hit the Y. Now this is the one that I just got done moving. Let's see how this goes. I'd say my biggest thing with this kit is probably gonna just deal with wire management. You know, I am running out of room here. I got my three-in-one lathe right there. I got my door right here. All right, so everything's homed. Everything went just as where I wanted to stop. I didn't want to go much further than that. I set it to just come off the table a little bit there. So let's go X negative. All right, hundred and did that. Gotta always make sure you're going. The right way. <laughs> I've, I've hit the limits a couple different times. Right now I got it set to, I don't know, about 100. Um, 100 or 120 for the rapid travel like that. And let's uh, go over here. I'm going to show you the things that I've machined so far. Um, I'm going to show you my failure. Ugh. Got to really watch the feeds and speeds that Fusion 360 has given me. Uh, this was a half inch end mill, four flute. This is mild steel. And it came in the first pass pretty decent. And then all of a sudden it just like really, eh, come on focus. Well, it just really, this is my first actual good part. Uh, that was a drill hole. Then I went to just doing a circular hole. The That's when I was like, oh, you know what? <laughs> Aluminum's a lot more forgiving for any mistakes for like the um, plunging rate. Um, oh, Then I went on to practice spot drilling. And you can see those little tiny ones. Those are my spot drills with a, uh, a center drill, like a lathe style center drill. 
And then these were some drill holes right here that I did. Then I moved on to, <laughs> I designed this little mouse for my daughter. I thought she might find it interesting, think it was kind of cool. And, oh, so the big plunge for myself was to take and this is a small block Ford header flange that didn't get fully cut out on my CNC plasma machine. Uh, so basically it's like a rough blank minus bolt holes, but something happened and I wasn't able to finish. So I went, spotted my holes all the way down. Was, was there uh, two, four, six, eight holes? Then went and drilled them out with a, like a three-eighths drill bit. That worked out good. Plunge rate was a little bit, uh, a little bit hard and harsh, so I had to, uh, I have to adjust that. And then I went and did a facing job. Facing job was uh, pretty decent. Uh, this flange was obviously just a little bit out of spec because that didn't get touched and that didn't get touched. Um, so this is uh, what I got so far for you guys. I uh, got it running. I got it halfway set up. I want to re-double check the tram on the head because I did uh, when I plunged that very first part. It kind of was like moving and... And uh, not cutting. So I want to double check that. I want to double check the backlash because I didn't know exactly how to move in like very, very, very small increments. Whenever I first was setting this up, like I would go there. I just clicked on that. It's an increment. Now if I go like this, it's going to... So I went 443, 453... And I needed it to go smaller than that. So now I know that I can go into the MDI command. And here's some previous codes I used. So I can go G1X, uh, X01, or X.001, and just like move it a hair, hair, hair at a time. That way I can get the backlash in there more accurate. But these are double ball nuts. And uh, backlash should be like 0.002 or something. I forget what Dave said. That's it. This is a nice quick uh, recap of the machine. I'm sure once I start getting things going, I really need to get an enclosure in here because I'm throwing chips all over my work area. This is like where I go from here right into my house. So need to definitely uh, get some stuff going on here. Uh, power requirements, really quick. I will do an enclosure video. I'm just don't feel like digging it out just yet. I'm just plugging right into my wall power. A couple videos I've seen people are busting out, you know, in America, like 220 power and everything I have for this setup is all 110 off the factory wire that uh, came from Centroid Acorn for their board. I can't say you know, running the machine for a long point in time if I'm going to have a problem. But as far as right now, 15 amp breaker, 110 power, that's all I have. Uh, I mean, I have 220 power. I'm just saying this is all I have going on right now. That's it. It's Jeff, Pony Down, CNC.